The water at this park, golf course, and industrial facility in Southern California looks like your standard H2O. And it is, except it's been around the block a few times. When it goes down the drain, it gets recycled and shot back up, all clean through the sprinklers. That leaves more water for people to drink. In many parts of the country and parts of the world, drinking water is in a short supply. Um, the water supply doesn't necessarily match up with where people want to live and where people want to locate industry. So recycling water then becomes an enabling technology to allow people to live in, in water stressed areas and to allow industry to develop in those areas. So how is water recycled? At the West Basin Water Recycling Facility in El Segundo, California, a two-step process turns wastewater into a beneficial product. First, a technology called membrane filtration from Siemens Water Technologies filters harmful solids and bacteria from wastewater through thousands of straw-like microporous filters. The clean water then passes through an even finer membrane filter, which removes dissolved contaminants. The water here is actually purified to above drinking water standards. And to give you a general indication, the finished water is relatively similar to distilled water that you can see in the, in the supermarket shelves. This facility produces 8 billion gallons of recycled water per year and has saved the region more than 65 billion gallons of drinking water since 1995. Putting that into perspective, 1 billion gallons of water would be enough to supply almost 8,000 homes for a whole year. And recycling facilities like this one are popping up across the country. Membrane technology is advancing rapidly and our newest membrane units are much smaller, they cost less and they produce a better quality of water. So all around it's really helping to bring the cost down so that we can distribute more of this recycled water. Of course, water recycling is just one part of the larger conservation picture. And every step that each of us takes to help reduce water use can benefit all of us in the future. I'm Kate Brooks.